Welcome to Republic Online, Internet Banking for our Corporate Users. Managing the site's administration involves creating users, assigning permissions, and creating approval schemes. Two different categories of approval schemes are available, non-monetary schemes and monetary schemes. Configuring a non-monetary scheme outlines approvers authorizing non-monetary or administrative related transactions. Through the monetary scheme, approvers and the authorizing limits of monetary related transactions are established. To begin creating a monetary approval scheme, select that action button from the Manage tab. This brings up the monetary approval schemes page, which displays all existing schemes. Next, select the configure new scheme link. Step one is all about selecting the scope of that scheme. For monetary schemes, the scope in essence identifies the account and the type of transaction the user will be approving. Remember to select the show more link to view all accounts and its associated feature. Once the scope has been outlined, select continue to proceed to step two, configuring the scheme with the approvers and their authorizing limits. There are two options available when configuring a monetary scheme. Users can be configured to approve transactions without an amount limit, as well as with an amount limit. To assign users approving transactions up to any amount, select configure under the without amount limit section. Next, select Add Users. Essentially, this step assigns the users who will be responsible for approving the transactions outlined in the scheme. Click on the checkboxes next to the users to be added to the scheme, then input their relevant approval percentages. All approval schemes contain approval percentages. These essentially define the user's authority to approve the transaction in that scheme. If 50% is assigned to the first user, it suggests they can only provide a 50% approval rate. The scheme, though, must achieve minimum 100% approval rate for the transactions to be approved and executed. In this example, other users, therefore, must be assigned approval percentages to complete the scheme. This configuration now suggests that both users must approve the scheme's transactions together as individually, neither of them can provide a 100% approval rate. So far, the scheme has been configured to allow user 1 and user 2 to approve the transactions up to any amount, but with each other. Concurrently, it can be configured to restrict users to approve within an amount limit. Select a new amount configuration, insert an amount, the users, and their approval percentages. In this example, the scheme has been configured to allow user 1 and user 2 to approve the transactions up to any amount, but with each other, while allowing user 1 to approve a loan up to a particular value. In step 3, confirm the data enter and select save. Next, you will be prompted to enter the scheme's name. Remember to name the scheme in context so it can be easily identified in the future. Once the scheme is saved, the user will be redirected to the Monetary Approval Schemes page where the new scheme will be listed.